2019. Finally, it's just in a test phase right now at different stations on 456 train. You can use tap to pay. Tap to pay. So instead of using this metro card, which people have been using for last so many years, you can start using tap to pay with this Omni tap how does it work you need to enable tap to pay such as Apple pay you can pay with your phone like see but you need to set it up first you can just Make sure that your phone has NFC and then you can choose a card. You can already choose something that's already stored in your Google account. It also means, well, days numbered for some of these machines or make some changes. On Google Pay, it just says your screen lock will be used for Google Pay. Um, use it. Just make sure your phone has NFC capability and it's turned on. My phone that I'm using is a Sony Xperia XZ. Just make sure you turn it on. And on my phone, this is what you see. Any details, you can search for it on YouTube, what is NFC, but Okay, here it says tap here when you want to use it. Tap to unlock. Okay, with this enable, it says tap to pay. Does it work? Okay, it's gone through. And that's it. No need to use a Metro card. At this moment, you cannot use it for a transfer, so when you're paying for it, it's just a single swipe. So in New York City, you can go from subway to bus and bus to subway, but for now, you can just pay here once and that's it. And I got a notification on my Google Pay. It just said New York City, City pay to go, how much has been paid. Again, 270 is the current fare in New York City, and you can just use this to make payments. So there you go. Alternate method was here. You just go and you pay, and it tells you how much to swipe again. So already expired. Great. So again, I'm just going to use my card again. Okay, my phone had to be open. And that's it.